right. That was a real shit show. <laughs> the good news is now we're here, we're together, and change is upon us. But we got a long motherfucking way to go, okay? We got a long, long, long way to go. But it's going to happen. It's happening now. All right, let's talk about health care. Few things resonate more with me and with everybody here today than the necessity of access to medical care for women. The fundamental right to, of choice for all women concerning their own bodies. So let's talk about a real hero. Sue Dunlap has dedicated her life to fighting for women's health issues. Sue has been a leader in women's health for more than 15 years. She was the, she was the driving force behind a national strategy to increase, to increase the visibility of women's health issues in national elections and, in doing so, spearheaded Planned Parenthood's first presidential debate. So that's pretty cool. Sue has been president and CEO of Planned Parenthood Los Angeles and since 2011 and continues to fight for women's health and against anti-choice ballot measures. The leadership and commitment Sue has shown for women everywhere is a true inspiration. It is my honor to introduce Sue Dunlap. Los Angeles, they they told me you were tired and ready to go home. Are you ready to go home? No! Is our work done? No! We've got one more year, two more years, three more years. In fact, we have our children's future in front of us. So Los Angeles, are you tired? No! Are you the change that we want to see in this world? Do you know that Los Angeles is the single largest voting jurisdiction in this whole goddamn country? And every single one of you is gonna take that to heart and make a difference as we go forward so that the young woman amongst us who will be president can win, can stand up. So that when they tell her as they did this past year, that she's not male enough, that she's not white enough, that she's not wealthy enough, that she's not American enough, and that she's not straight enough. You all aren't gonna let her hear that. You're gonna make sure she knows she can rise up and lead all of us to the better world that we deserve. No, louder than that, Los Angeles, I wanna hear more from you. One year ago, they told us that women's health care was going to go away. They told us that the two and a half million women who come to Planned Parenthood every year did not deserve to choose Planned Parenthood. Did we let them stop us? No. You, this community, is so incredibly powerful. We are immigrants. We are the vanguard of gender identity. We are the trans community. We are the America of tomorrow and the America we dream about. Nobody in Los Angeles can forget that. We have a special role in this moment in time, and it's coming from our entertainment community, it's coming from our sanctuary city, and it's coming from every single one of you who's gonna stand with me and protect a woman's right to choose 
no matter what. Thank you.